Hello, my name is Kevin, and today we're going to be covering how you can install plugins to your Minecraft server and exactly how to get them functioning. To start, the server we'll be using is a Nitrado server with the Spigot server type installed on 1.21.5. If your server does not already have Spigot, Bucket, or another server type that supports Spigot or Bucket plugins, you will need to ensure you change your server type before we continue. To do that on the Nitrado server panel, you can simply click the version change on the left side here of your server panel. Once that is loaded, you'll see all the different version changes and you'll want to select Spigot 1.21.5. And we'll click restart now to ensure that's loaded. Once that's installed on your server, we can now install Minecraft plugins. We'll want to go to the Spigot or Bucket website and we'll scroll down and find the plugin that we want to install to our server. In this case, we'll go very simple and we'll install this latest plugin that got updated on Spigot that has four ratings. This plugin is updated to our server version 1.21 and so we can install it and download it to our server. One important thing is to ensure there are no dependencies. Thankfully, if we scroll down, we can see there are no required dependencies to run this plugin. So without further ado, we'll click download now to download the plugin. With that downloaded, now we're going to go back to the server and we're going to want to go into the server files. We'll click File Browser. In the File Browser, we'll want to click our Minecraft Bucket server. We'll want to scroll down until we see the Plugins folder. And inside the Plugins folder, that is where you will upload the plugin file. We'll click Upload File. You're going to want to then find that plugin that you downloaded, select that plugin, and it will upload to your server. As you can see, if we scroll down, you can see Welcome.jar has now been uploaded. As a final step to install this plugin, you'll want to go back to the dashboard of your server and you'll want to press the restart option. As the server is restarting, you can head into the live server console to be able to see all of the startup messages and to verify that your plugin is working. And so we'll go into there and watch the server startup. Upon loading the server, you can see that the welcome plugin ends up being loaded. And if we scroll down further, you can see that the plugin does fully enable on the server. With the plugin now installed, we can actually go back into the file browser and now view the files of the plugin. As you can see, there is now a welcome folder in our plugins folder. We'll click that welcome folder. Inside of there, you will see the config.yml. We can click that to edit the file and review all of the settings that this plugin offers. As you can see, this plugin offers different modes, tiered rewards, different tiers and messages you can edit, and a lot more. And quite often, many plugins include many different files that you're able to edit on your server. Generally, it's recommended that you stop your server before you edit any plugin file and then start it afterward to ensure the change takes properly. With that, you now have installed the first plugin on your server of many. Remember that the plugins do need to be updated and that you do need to install the dependencies. Additionally, your server does need to be on the spigot or bucket server type. It can also be on bungee cord, waterfall, etc., but it will have to have the supported plugins installed. For example, bungee cord requires bungee cord plugins, spigot and bucket require spigot and bucket plugins. If you're using Sponge, a very old modded server type that requires Sponge plugins. If you liked what you see, please leave a like and follow for more. If you face any issues, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.